Doing a big sportive or grand fondo such as the Maratona de los Dolomite will mean that you are around thousands of other riders. And as such, there are certain do's and don'ts. So coming up is GCN's guide to sportive etiquette. Don't do that, mate. It's dangerous. Sorry, Dan. One of the biggest things you'll notice when riding a sportif or a Grand Fondo type event is the sheer volume of other riders that you'll be pedalling along with. So it's so important that you consider it in the way that you're riding. Take, for example, the approach to a feed zone. What you don't want to do is suddenly veer across the road without paying attention to what's behind you. Likewise, you really want to try and avoid any sudden braking unless it is absolutely necessary. Stopping suddenly could well catch the people out behind you and you might well cause a pile-up. Now, along very similar lines, it's important and very advisable that you don't overlap the wheel in front of you because basically you just can't predict what the person in front is going to do. They may break or they may deviate at a very hard angle and dropping just off the wheel gives you that ability to manoeuvre and take any evasive action. Now there is no harm in giving it a bit of welly if you're feeling particularly sprightly and strong on a sporty, but just remember it is not a race. If you want to get ultra competitive, there are plenty of organised races out there. So obey the rules of the road, don't take unnecessary risks at junctions and make sure you stay on your side of the road. Try and warn the riders behind you of any hazards that you see in the road up ahead. Could be a pothole like there or a raised drain, could be a slower ride that you're approaching or even a parked car. A hand gesture and a vocal warning should be enough. Well, cheers. Oh, thanks. There is no harm in taking advantage of slipstreaming behind other riders. After all, there should be plenty of them around. But make sure you also do your own turn on the front to do the pace setting. People won't mind you sitting behind them, just so long as at least occasionally you do come to the front and do your own work into the wind. And in fact, if you can find another rider or even a group of similar ability to yourself, this will help you get through to the finish of the event much more efficiently. It should go without saying, but believe me, so many people still insist on not checking behind when emptying the contents of their nose. So, if you're going to deliver a snot rocket, clear your throat, whatever you want to call it, take a glance behind, bit of an indication, away you go. So, those are GCN's tips when it comes to etiquette at Grand Fondos or Sportives, but if you've got any of your own tips, please leave them for us in the comments section down below. Equally, if there's anything that particularly annoys you about the way other riders do sportive events, let us know as well in the comments section down below. Now, if you are yet to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, it is free to do so. All you've got to do for that is to click on the glow, which you'll see on the screen somewhere now. Yeah, and for a couple of other sportive videos that may interest you, how about how to prepare your bike for sportive? You can find that by clicking just down here. And for how to prepare yourself or how to train for a sportive, click just down here.